So this is the cover photo for a Swedish television series and this is how it was made. So, a day spent at the subway with the cast on the escalator. All the light coming from the key light side was made out of continuous light, while the light coming from this steep angle, the backlight, was made out of flash. There were regulations against using flash down at the platform, which is why we used continuous light as key light. So here we have a mock-up of the situation we faced during the shoot and I'm gonna walk you through it step by step. So let's turn the light sources on one by one and see what they add. Separation, we got the background hitting the tile there, bounce in the ceiling, creating some fill, filling in some shadows, let's turn on the flash for the backlight, there we got the backlight, okay, main key light sources, we got number one, sort of focusing on the people in the back, and then we got number two, more front lit and more hitting our main person. So let's try this again, looking from another angle and lights off. Background, bounce in the ceiling, backlight, key light number one, and key light number two. Let's go all the way up here and look at the backlight. So we got the bounce. So this is bouncing in the ceiling, creating ambient fill. And this one is a direct hit. Let's compare it with this behind the scenes shot. So we got one flash hitting the ceiling for bounce, creating ambient fill, bouncing back. And we got one flash with a direct hit on the cost down below. So we're back with the final image and let's do some repetition one more time. So we had one light source hitting the tile here, getting some exposure. We had one light source hitting the ceiling, creating some bounce back, the light going like that. Boink, and then bouncing back all the way down, creating some fill in these people's faces. Then we had two pro head flashes, one direct hit, creating this backlight on these folks, and then one going in the ceiling, creating bounce back so we could actually have control of this part of the image. And then finally we had two E lights one was a bit steeper coming a little bit more from above to climb over to get exposure on these two guys on the back row not just hitting him like you couldn't just set it up like this because then you would just get him so it needed to be a bit more steeper get the light to sort of crawl over and hit the back as well another key light that was a little bit more front lit to illuminate our main character as well we couldn't turn the practical lights on and off, so we ensured that the practical lights remained significantly lower in level. When we were done with the cast, we took various shots and exposures, now adjusting for the level of the practical lights. This provided us with the ultimate freedom to incorporate reflections and other elements into the final image. And with that said, let's talk about framing and composition. So here we have some behind the scenes footage of the actual shoot, and you can tell that I'm actually shooting on vertical mode you see here the cameras in vertical mode and then i'm shooting tethered to my laptop over there we shot this on tripod in vertical mode and when the cast was done they walked off and we panned left took some extra shots then we panned right took some extra shots and then later the retoucher would assemble the final image looking like this we shot it like this for both technical and aesthetic reasons Technically, you get one super high resolution image that you can use for whatever formats, from wide banners to different vertical formats. And aesthetically, this was shot with a 45mm lens. If I would have went with a 100 megapixel camera just to get the resolution, I would have still have needed to be on like a 20 or a 25mm lens. With this setup using the 45, I achieved a more compressed look while still obtaining a very wide final image. I hope you found this interesting and let me know if you want to delve into any more details on any specifics. Also check out description for links to in-depth blog posts and I'll simply see you in the next one. Bye!